right, here's uh, the 2011 installment of Kay's Gardens. So I'm just going to walk through and kind of show you her handiwork as uh, she's getting pretty close to having it done. Walking down my driveway here, as you probably can see. And, of course, she's got these front gardens right here. And of course, you might hear some traffic on the road. And we go. This is still one area that she's still kind of working on. Hasn't completely finished it, but it's coming along pretty nicely. As you can see, she has her normal annuals and perennials in this one garden here. And I'm going to kind of go back to these gardens here. in here. This is the way she wants it. This is more of a protected area. Try to keep the house somewhat private from the road and also helps cut down some of the noise. Well, I guess really wet in here, of course, lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> And we'll go back up through the stairways here. And the side yard. Lots of pretty flowers. Don't ask me to name them, I have no clue. I have no idea. She knows, but I'm not really good at that stuff. I'm just good at taking pictures of it. And this is another area that's kind of pretty dark and dingy down there. Probably lots of mosquitoes, so I do not think I will go down there. But you get the idea. And she's got her all her front gardens done. I've oh, got uh, a lot of hanging plants now. Petunias and other stuff. Looking pretty nice. This rose, these two rose bushes that she has in the front, they grow almost like trees by the end of the summer. They're literally as high as that hanging flower that you see up there. of the yard. 
turn around and kind of see through here. The gardens are very much country-like. And of course we're blessed with the fact that we have literally a lot of acreage here that we can really hide everything so I mean we're really in the middle of the city but you would never know it because of the fact that we're just a few hundred feet away from the lake and a lot of, uh, of uh, various uh, vegetation. Right, I'm going to take the lower route. There's, there is a staircase of course in the upper deck here as you can see. But I'm going to step down through the lower part here first. And we will come into the one corner of her gardens. I'm kind of stop here for a while and so we can just kind of pan this a little bit. Here's something making some noise, some wild animals. We have everything here. We have squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits, raccoons, possum, foxes, coyotes. Uh, even one year we had a fairly sizable deer. I don't know where it came from, but being that we are close to the lake and that lake goes for miles and into a lot of dense forest, I guess it could come just about from anywhere. A lot of tears, of course, as always, being the tiered gardens, is what I mean. She really does a great job every year. That's the area that I just came from. Most of the flowers are out, uh, this being the first day of July, Canada Day, when I did this. Of course, this is kind of the, to me anyways, the, the um, highlight of, of our backyard, of course, is the, the paths that lead to the water feature. You should kind of hear it kind of in the background now. Pardon the jiggling of the camera, but I am walking as I do this, as you've probably noticed. We've been working on the pond area quite a bit, a lot more vegetation than there was last year. The fragrance out here is really quite nice. It's very, very pleasant to the uh, to the nose. Kind of turn around, kind of from where I had just walked down the path. There's the big old pine trees are phenomenal. She's still working on this one area right in front of me. I'm not too sure what she's going to do in there. She's been talking about maybe even throwing down some grass, which I doubt very much will happen, but that's what she's kind of planning on. Looking pretty good. Back to the pond, and we'll probably start heading up to the house now. We've kind of seen this part already.
And of course you've got all our plants and pots and stuff. Very, very nice. I'm going to try walking up the stairs without breaking my neck. Kind of turning around as I do it. It's quite, quite nice, huh? There's some wildlife squawking in the background. This is, of course, a rose garden. And we'll see if I can get up these stairs here with, again without killing myself here. Bird feeders. Got lots of birds. Especially this time of year. On to the deck area. This is kind of where we spend quite a bit of our time. Having breakfast, drinking coffees, refreshments. Uh, we got a little chimes going because of the, a little bit of a wind today, a little breeze. Beautiful day, it's about 82 above. But this is a part of our perch that we tend to sit at quite a bit and get an advantage. And I'm just going to pan around here and kind of see it from this particular angle. So, another great year. A little late this year, we had such a terrible terrible winter with tons and tons of snow and lots and lots of uh, rainy days in the spring was not the greatest so kind of got started a little late in planting everything but it's amazing it's came together pretty quickly and we really enjoy it so there you go there's our little uh, quick 12 and a half minute video of Case Gardens um, version 2011 hope you enjoyed it